and welcome to my channel. My name's April. So Sensi was kind of sneaky and they updated their clearance section without really letting anybody know. I did notice though, and I did pick up a few things. Um, let's just jump right in. So the first thing I picked up was Caramel Chestnut Sensi Brick. And I was hemming and hawing on whether I wanted to pick this one up because um, it's been in the clearance for a while. And I was like, yeah, I, I do need to get this one. So this is Silky Caramel Vanilla and Warm Chestnut and this was on clearance for $14.40. I'm not sure if they lowered the price or not, but that's what it was when I picked it up. And you guys, I absolutely love this scent. This was from a brick collection, holiday brick collection a couple years ago, and I fell in love. Yeah. So you definitely get like that creamy, almost burnt brown sugar caramel, but it's really, really beautiful. It's not ooey gooey, it's just like, a sophisticated caramel scent and it's not too strong and I do get like creamy delicious vanilla and the warm toasty chestnuts oh the scent is so good um, I do have this one in my club I get it um, once every three months one bar and that's just not enough so this was a little little stock up for me so I did go through my original brick already um, and I'm trying not to go back in and pick up another one I think it's still available and I love it, but I'm trying to be good. Um, but again, this is a great scent. I think it's still available. Caramel Chestnut, if you are into just a really rich, deep, sweet, nutty kind of a scent, maybe give this one a try. It's a great performer and I love it. Okay, there were some uh, new to me bars in here as well. And I went ahead and picked up three bars of candied cranberry pecan. And one thing to notice, um, on the back, I do have my set notes on here, but this is an older bar, so I'm not sure when this was poured. I can never tell on the packaging. Um, but the set notes are cranberries, pecans, sugar cane, brandy to plum, and this was in clearance for $4.80, and last time I checked, it was still available. And I really wanted to try this one because it's a scent that I've never smelled before. So right off the bat, I get juicy, sweet, tart cranberries. Yeah, really, really nice. There's maybe a little tiny bit of spice, not very much. Um, the candy or brandy plum, I really don't get like a super boozy note, but maybe it's there. The plum might be giving it a little bit of sweetness. And uh, what else is there, sugar cane? It's sweet, so I don't really get like sugar per se, but it's a sweet, uh, juicy cranberry with with like the tart plum, maybe a tiny little bit of brandy to kind of elevate the scent. And the pecans, I'm not really getting pecans. There might be a little bit of like toastiness, so maybe the, pecan, the pecans are kind of like giving it a toasty note, but it's really nice on cold. Um, Again, I know this is not a fresh pop, a uh, fresh pour because the bar is old, but it actually smells really, really nice and fairly strong. So I'm excited to warm this one. Um, I think th this is going to be a great fall scent. So I do have three bars and when I warm them, I will let you know, but I am going to save that one for fall. Okay. Another new to me scent is Christmas Cuddles and I went ahead and I picked up three bars of that. Uh, this one does have the new packaging on it. So I say this is a fairly new pour. Uh, scent notes are caramel, bourbon, vanilla, cinnamon, and clove. And this was also $4.80 in the clearance. Ooh, and I love the top. Wow, what am I smelling? Caramel, a little bit of caramel, um, bourbon, vanilla. Yeah, I do get vanilla, but I'm almost getting like a chocolatey note but it's not Tootsie Roll um, kind of chocolate. It's just almost like a, a deep, rich chocolate note, which is weird because that is not in the scent notes. Um, cinnamon and clove, like very slight, not overly spicy, at least to my nose, but everything's blended together really, really nicely. Go ahead and smell the back. Okay, whoa. So on the back, I definitely get like that bourbon quite strongly. And if I'm being honest, it's not really like a bourbon scent. It's almost smells like tequila, which is strange. I think I maybe get a little bit more of the clove and the cinnamon on the back. Um, I think I like the front of the bar a little bit more, but 
but I don't know, warming, it might all come together, but that's interesting that I get like the tequila note on the back. So that must be the bourbon. Um, I'm excited to warm this one. This is definitely gonna be like a late fall scent for me. Um, it's like a heavier kind of a scent. So I think that's gonna be nice. I'm excited to warm it. And again, I will let you all know what I think about it on warm. Okay, another new to me scent is a Ring Forest Bungalow. And it's a beautiful green colored wax. And again, this is also a new pour. And the scent notes are emerald, palm frond, dewy lemongrass, and aloe flower. And this was also $4.80 in the clearance section. I think it was still available the last time I looked. Oh yeah. So definitely get like that dewy green. It's, it's like a sweet, crisp grass uh, kind of scent. And I love grass scents. Uh, dewy lemongrass, let me see. There is a brightness. I'm not really sure if I'm getting like lemongrass, maybe a slight lemon note, but not super strong. An aloe flower. I mean, I don't know what aloe flower smells like, but this is a really nice crisp green, sweet kind of a scent. I really like that. Uh, this is something that I think will be great for uh, bathrooms. And I actually think this would be really good mixed with, with some like fruity scents. I think I might try it with watermelon patch. So I am excited about that one. And now a bar that I have smelled before and I really, really love. This is We're All Mad Here from the Alice in Wonderland con uh, collection. And I did go ahead and pick up three bars of this. And the scent notes are tart plum, strawberry, pink sugar, and fizz. I love fizzy scents. And this was on sale for $5.20 in the clearance. And I do believe this one has already sold out. Oh, yes. This is a scent that I wish I would have gloved. I actually think I did have it in my club for a hot minute, but I took it out when I was making some cuts and I'm having some serious regrets about that. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. So tart plum and strawberry. I don't like get those notes like definitively, but definitely like a fruity scent. And I would say that, yes, it is like a tart and sweet kind of a scent. And I do get like the pink sugar. It's just really nice. It kind of gives it almost like a body care kind of a feel. And the fizz, absolutely. I do get the fizz. Oh, this is such a good scent. Um, I think I have two more bars in my stash and I picked up these three. So I think I have a total of five bars. I hope we see this one come back again. And if we do, I will definitely club it. And last but not least, I went ahead and I picked up the Disney Magical Celebration Bar. And you guys, it's a gorgeous purple, light purple lilac colored wax. And the scent notes are orange, red berry, and sweet peony. And the packaging is just so cute. So this is a pretty like sweet floral and slightly fruity kind of a scent. I definitely get the peony. And I don't know if I've really smelled anything with peony flowers before, but I like it. It's not like an overly heady kind of a floral. It's just like a really sweet, pretty kind of a floral scent, light floral. Um, orange and red berry. Yeah, there is some fruitiness to it. I can't pick out like orange or, you know, red berries per se, but again, you do get that fruity note. Um, really, really nice. Um, I'm excited to warm this one. Don't think it's something that I will club. It smells fairly light, maybe like a light, plus, um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm excited to give this one a try. So that's it. I was actually pretty good. <laughs> um, I was really tempted to go overboard and snag like six packs of everything, but I was like, no, nope, just get like three of each bar um, and then grab the brick. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if there are any of these scents that you have tried and if you like them, love them, or just kind of meh about them. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.